Hello, this is Goshen Athelian, and I'm going to walk you through how to install my mod pack. And uh, let's get started. So, first step is to install a program called Forge. Now, Minecraft Forge is an awesome set of API, just programs that let all the mods talk to each other. And so, what we're going to do is we're going to click on Installer on the latest on 1.6.2. We click on Installer. And we're going to save that to the desktop. You know, give you know, look at the ad fly for five seconds to you know thank them for making this awesome program. And skip ad on the top right corner. Skip ad, save, and we're just going to drop that on the desktop. Once that is saved, we're going to open that from the desktop. And it's going to ask us, where do you want to install it? It's install client is right, and it already knows where to put it. So you click OK. And it's installed. So we are done with Forge. Then what we do next is, let's go to our cheat sheet here. We're going to download the mods and config from this address, which is going to be in the description. And so we're going to go there and download it. So we've got two, pro two files here, config download and you can just put those on the desktop and we're going to click on the right arrow key and then click on downloads and mods and put that on the desktop And they are downloading. Now, while this is downloading, I wanted to mention that this is a testing server, which means don't get attached to any builds because they'll be changing. We, as we add or move mods, we have to wipe the map to start over. Uh, but it's just a good time, you know, to play with all these different things. So we're downloaded. So let's go ahead and open. Go to our desktop. We're going to right-click on the taskbar here on the bottom and say Show Desktop, which is going to drop us over here. And we're going to t open up our folder. Now, the folder itself is going to be on Windows 7. It's C, Users, whatever your username is, which is my admin, and then <clears throat> App Data, and Roaming, and .minecraft. Why they put it there, I don't know, but uh, it is there. And so if you'd like to make a shortcut to your Drive C, I'd highly recommend it. You just go back to this Roaming folder. You right drag, which means hold the right mouse button on your mouse, and drag this to drive C and say create shortcut here. And what that's going to do is put a shortcut so you can just get straight into this folder and not have to mess with that anymore. Now what we're going to do is open the mods folder and we're going to delete every file in here. You don't want any of these files because if you have a file in there that's not one of my mods that or one of the ones I've collected you're not go, it's going to cause some crashes and some problems so we delete all the mods then we open this mods.zip file and we're going to take all these files and extract them and I'm doing it the 7-zip way so let me stop that and then let's show you the default windows way you would right drag and you say extract and it's going to say you click extract and now it put all the files into this mods dots, you know, whatever it is, folder. Once this is done extracting, you're going to copy them out of that folder right into that mods folder. I'll just give it a second. It's got a bunch of little files in there. And open this. So you take all these files and you're just going to cut them out of here and put them in your mods folder and delete this mods version 7. Okay, good. So now we have the mods. Next, you're going to go back up to your Minecraft folder and you're going to do this in your config folder. We're going to be, and you could do this here. You can just extract into the desktop here. That might be an easier way to describe it. So then you open this, open the one you extract to the desktop and you take all these config files, which is basically just tells the mods how to behave and you drag them over here. It's going to say, do you want to move and replace? Yes, move and replace. Already, re already replace the folders? Yes, and do this for all, con all future. All right, so now that we have the mods installed, the configs installed, let's jump over to our cheat sheet. Um, now we're going to run Minecraft. So if we fire up Minecraft, and you're going to do something new. It's going to ask you, who do you want to log in as? I'm going to say, already saves my name there. I hit play. 
And very important, in the bottom right corner under Profile, you're going to change this from whatever you had before to Forge. Now Forge is all your mods. Now if you want to play normal Minecraft, it's really important that you go back to what your other profile was and hit play because that way you're not going to have all the mods because it'll crash you. So we go to Mod Forge and Play. Then we're going to log into the server, which is play.prospercraft.com. Look at the description for that link. You notice it takes just a little bit longer to load with mods, which is fine. It's got more stuff to load. Loading, loading, loading. Okay, then we go to multiplayer, go add server. We're going to call it Prospercraft, and just go play.prospercraft.com. Done, and double click on it. And we're in. Now, Prospercraft is a, a multiple servers on one hub. And what we're going to do here is we're going to go uh, to the chat, which is disabled. So let's go to multiplayer settings, chat shown. Then we go forward slash server Goshencraft. That's just a working title. Okay, so we're in. Now you, you see all kinds of new things that you have no idea what they are. Now I've set the config files to show you when you look at something, it's going to tell you what it is. So that's a golden lantern. Uh, now you see like, uh, you know, apiaries, that's where it holds bees and all kinds of stuff. So look forward to playing with you. And uh, this is a Goshen Athelian. We're signing out.